I'm Kalina Estrinos and right now on your 13 Action News update, the Attorney General and the Governor are calling for an investigation after legal observers were allegedly arrested at a protest Saturday night. They say legal observers serve a pivotal role in the justice system and a lawyer who says she watched the protests unfold believe some people should have never been detained. Some were detained for obstructing the roadway. Others told us directions from Metro were confusing. Right now, Metro hasn't confirmed how many people have been taken into custody. The Nevada DMV will start reopening all of its offices today. The department is doing a phased reopening. Services will be available to those with the most pressing needs for the first 30 days. There's an extension right now in effect for expired licenses and other DMV issued documents. Now, the DMV says if you can legally drive, you should wait for at least 30 days to make an appointment and try online services first. The city of Las Vegas will be opening most of its pools today, and if you plan on going, you'll have to arrive at the beginning of the two-hour open swim. Only 50 people will be allowed at a time. For a complete list of hours and locations, visit our website, ktnv.com. Certainly warm enough for the pool as temperatures zip out of the 70s first thing this morning through the 80s and 90s will be right around 100 this afternoon, but it will be breezy. So if you're getting out of the pool this afternoon, you may actually feel chilly even though it's 100 degrees. Gusts of about 25 miles per hour as we examine the week. A lot of wind on Tuesday, so a fire danger tomorrow. Clean will be in the 90s Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday before getting back to 100 to 104 Friday through the weekend. By the way, summer officially begins on Saturday and happy monsoon that also starts today. <laughs> All right, Justin, thank you so much. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can find more on our website, ktv.com and our free mobile app.